Hey there YouTube. I just wanted to do a bit of a field test with uh, the new Olight Fortitude fixed blade just so you could kind of see it in action. I've been kind of playing around with it a bit uh, to, like this week. Uh, I added a lanyard just to give me a little bit better purchase on the knife while I'm using it. it it's a nice knife. It, it's comfortable in the hand, no hot spots. I will say it feels a little light kind of my impression kind of doing different tasks this is marketed as a survival knife there's no way I, I think this is a great camp utility knife but it's not heavy enough and especially with that tip it's that's just too fragile for it you can kind of see you know kind of doing some batoning already you know there's already kind of one nick and burr in the blade this is D2 steel, so I'm a little surprised that's happened. When I get home, I'll put it on the sharpener and uh, and uh, see if I can get that out. So anyway, let me see if I can get you set up here so you can see the knife in action. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. I will say this, uh, again, going back to the survival knife versus camp knife, definitely camp knife. My, my dedicated bushcrafter, which is, you know, probably a third again as thick, does a much better job splitting. Just having the physical mass of the, of the blade acting as a wedge helps to split it apart in a better way. Uh, it's a handy knife. It's well balanced. No hot spots. You know, nothing that, you know, gives me a pause. Uh, but again, I would just say, if you're getting this, get this as a camp knife, utility knife rather than a survival knife. If you're going to do survival knife, I do like one of the Essies or uh, a bushcrafter or kind of a, you know, other type of bushcraft knife. Anyway, just thought you'd like to see it in action. Thanks a lot. Take care. 